What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. All right, guys, I want to talk about the packs that we have sitting in the Dow for Rebellion. And you can see here that we are at about 35,000, almost 36,000 packs in the Dow. So not too many, but not an insignificant number either. And I'm wondering to myself, like, okay, what, what are we planning to do with those packs? You know, it, it's, it's just sitting there. It's almost at half a percent of the total supply, which is actually 10 million, right? Even though we've burned 330,000. What are we going to do with these packs? And yes, rewards in the future would be cool. That could be interesting. I almost even wonder if maybe like these should be coming out in like the reward chest if we were ever to do something like that. But on today's live stream, uh, we got into a really interesting discussion about um, what to do with like new player experience and the set rentals, right? So uh, overall, if, you, if you're unfamiliar with this, Within the last couple of, or I guess it was really just the last town hall, you know, Matt was talking about the new player experience that they wanted to implement next year. And one of the things that he mentioned was having set rentals available so that players could come in and literally just rent a brand new set of cards for X amount of uh, DEC, right? But you just do it. It's one click set rentals. And this is not a new concept, right? The team has been talking about this since the end of last year, maybe the beginning of, of this year, right? So early in, in 2023. Obviously, a lot of other things have taken priority since since then and it has not come in but it's still something that the team wants to implement as a way to make it easier for new players uh, they've even mentioned being able to automatically have this be somewhat included when new players come into the game so you know you come in and right now you get 3,000 credits that you're able to spend but what if you just had like a bronze deck that was uh, rented out for you with that same amount right a bronze like rebellion uh, you know rebellion max for bronze kind of collection or something so with that being said, I'm actually thinking that maybe the DAO should open some of these packs and put these cards on the marketplace. Now, what I don't want, and I know, I know one of the arguments we're going to get is, oh, the DAO shouldn't be competing with the, the open market. And and I kind of agree with that, right? The DAO is going to do what the DAO is going to do. But I do think that there could be a revenue opportunity for the DAO. I, I do think that there's a service that the DAO could provide in order to get that revenue. And I think that this could really help new players. So what I'm trying to get at here is, if the team can implement some kind of set rentals or make it so that when somebody signs up and um, sets up a new account, right, and, and pays for the spell book, they get access to a complete collection of uh of rebellion for example right so they get and, and again it's not it's not too much they're not one bcx cards but it's a max for rebellion set right so it's just level ones two and three for you know legendaries rares epics commons right so it's it's again and not, nothing nothing too crazy it wouldn't take that many packs right in order to do it um the the reason for that is well okay instead of the three thousand credits essentially being given what if you were to have these kind of sets ready to go and delegate and well not delegated but like rented out for a month or for two seasons and that is like worth 3000 credits or DEC well now all of a sudden that that revenue is not necessarily going or i guess it is going to the team but it could be going to the dow with the team paying out on the back end so so what do i mean by that right like if if they're going to do that that 3000 DEC every time somebody comes up and sets up a a, a new account or 3000 credits right it, it ends up going to the DAO directly, um, we, which we know like the DAO can just soak up that DEC and never do anything with it, or the credits end up going to the team, and then the team you know, pays the back end out to the DAO. Again, that DEC is all getting locked up. Now, I, I don't have the full details. I, I haven't really thought through like, okay, should this be available to anybody? If anybody wants to go in and just rent, should it only be available to new accounts? Um, I mean, I think, I think that there should be like a limit so that people can't just go in. And there is going to be a cost to this, right? And this is, this is why I'm saying like, it's, it's going to be tough to compete with the open market because I think the DAO should just have a fixed cost for this and also a fixed supply, right? So it's only available. But the crazy thing is, and it would be a good problem, is all of a sudden if you have way more demand, right? Let's say let's say there's like, you know, uh, 300 decks um, and in one month you get 5,000 people that sign up. Again, that's a good problem to have, but for all the people who are hoping that they would get access to a full collection, 
maybe it just reverts back like ah sorry we don't have any collections available here's like a, a little not, not not actual tradable token but like a soul bound token or something where it's just like you can go and redeem this when there's one available in the meantime you know take your 3000 credits or something like that again i haven't thought through the full the thought through on the full details and i hope that the team would consider something like this but it does make for an interesting way for the dow to generate revenue although any dec that, that the dow gets i think it should burn but keep in mind generating revenue for the dow or collecting dec for the dow is really adding value to the rest of the ecosystem because now if that DEC gets locked up, when somebody needs to go for DEC, that DEC won't be there. And they will need to go and burn, buy and burn SPS in order to make that happen. And it's probably going to be the team or, you know, uh, maybe some other players. So, you know, as we're sitting here and considering this, obviously this would probably fall onto Clayboyne to open up the packs and set up those those uh, kind of sets. Uh, and it would have to be a collaboration, I think, with the team then as well. But what do you guys think about the DAO offering some kind of service? Like, we've already talked about the fact that, you know, the DAO should be maybe delegating like 100 SPS to new players when they come in for one month. Again, it's not that much, but it's enough where they can go in and they can start to earn without having to buy SPS. Because buying SPS is actually difficult to do uh, since there aren't many like, uh, you know, fiat on ramps. You'd have to go through a lot of DeFi platforms in order to make that happen, uh, especially if you're in the US. So the DAO engaging in another kind of collaboration with the team or in this way a collaboration with the team in order to provide a service that helps new players i think could add a lot of value and the dow is sitting on the packs already to do it again i don't think we need to open a ton of packs 30 3400 let's put it this way 3400 packs is uh a main uh, is like a full collection right but you I, I think you'd need a fraction of that. Like if we were if we were to set aside thirty four hundred packs, that would probably be I don't know ten to fifteen, maybe even even twenty like bronze level decks just with the way just with the way it scales up or scales down, I guess from from having like a max set. And and the way that the way I'm thinking about this is like uh, just look at legendaries for example, and and they might may not be the best example, but like you need eleven legendary cards or eleven uh, BCX of a legendary card in order to have a maxed for a max copy but max for bronze is only one bcx right uh, one bcx so that's like an 11x difference or one over 11 difference so whatever it is um you know we we'd only need like every every 300 packs is essentially like uh or less than 300 packs would be like a, a max set and considering the fact that we have thirty five thousand just sitting there again i'm not saying to open all of them i'm just saying that we could start to do something with them over time especially since we'll be accruing more and more and more as time goes on, more packs get burned, more get sent to the DAO. But let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, again, it's a very raw idea. Happy to, to you know have you guys tear it apart and come up with something better or add to it. Uh, but I'm just trying to figure out how we can get the assets in the DAO to provide solid value rather than just being giveaways, which again, can be valuable, but it's like a one-time thing. And then it kind of like, you know, gets gets out into the ecosystem I, i'm thinking that this could be something that's ongoing that's helpful and then i don't know maybe maybe at the end when rebellion is out of print maybe the dow burns it <laughs> i don't know or the dow sells it i i, I don't know what the case is right but uh, again it just makes for an interesting kind of situation or, or gives it away who knows all, all the all the cards that end up coming in but uh let me know your thoughts in the comments below otherwise i'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game take care